Message of St. Michael the Archangel to Louise de Maria, October 10, 2024. Beloved children of the Holy Trinity, my protection is with each one of you. I come in the name of the Holy Trinity to warn you. I call you to conversion, to pray, to receive our King and Lord Jesus Christ, duly prepared. Be love, as the Holy Trinity is love. It is the duty of each one of you to focus on and be aware of your personal actions, since these will determine how you resist the deceptions of the evil one who attacks human beings through desires in their thoughts, in their minds, and in their hearts, to lead them to fall and to keep them in the mire, unable to take flight again. Children of the Holy Trinity, you face the warning. You will see a light coming from above, and it will illuminate even the shadows. Then, as you are shaken by this great event, silence will arrive. You will hear nothing, and nothing will move. Everything will be in the silence of God, where each one of you will be before your own conscience, and you will examine yourselves in your actions and deeds, even if you do not wish to do so. This act of divine mercy is, for all mankind, the opportunity for conversion. Before this outpouring of divine mercy, make up your minds to change interiorly. And though you have examined your sins, the good you have failed to do and the good you have refused to receive, you will see them and it will hurt you. The firm commitment to advancing one's internal transformation is a treasure for those who desire it. Beloved children of the Holy Trinity, you as a human race will continue to face the onslaught of nature. Children of the Holy Trinity, you will suffer from the emanations of the sun causing unexpected electrical storms. Diverse climates in America and Europe Several countries will have no electricity. Water and wind will not stop. They will continue to be scourges for humanity. Human beings feel that they have passed the test and laugh at these announcements of the Father's house. But they will look around and they see what has been announced. Hurricanes and atmospheric phenomenon that will surprise you continue. Pray, children of the Holy Trinity, pray for the United States and Mexico. They suffer because of nature. Pray, children of the Holy Trinity, pray for Central America, especially for Honduras and Guatemala. Pray, children of the Most Holy Trinity, pray for South America. The disease is coming. Pray, children of the Holy Trinity, the war continues to escalate. Children of the Holy Trinity, these are difficult times for this generation, given to indulgence, debauchery, and sinful pleasure, and disobeying the Holy Trinity. You are content to go against what the Triune God asks of you. I invite you to keep a food reserve, but above all, to remain firm in the faith and thus find the culmination of life in this mission that has been entrusted to each one of you. Pray, pray to the Holy Trinity and to our Queen and Mother. Pray with the heart to minimize the attacks that will come to you if this is the divine will. Keep in mind that not everything that comes to mankind is initiated by the Holy Trinity but is mostly caused by human beings. Pray without ceasing and make reparation for those who despise divine appeals. Each one of you has a personal mission. 
Some do not know it and must discover it. Others do not know it and despise it. Some long for the divine will, and others reject it. At all times and all places, we have the mission to defend you from the evil, and so we will fulfill it. Keep the security of the divine protection. Be creatures of good. I bless you. Saint Michael the Archangel Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Commentary of Luz de Maria Brothers and sisters, our beloved Saint Michael the Archangel warns us to reflect on the interior life without falling into excess. He calls us to reflect upon the behavior of the air, the water, the earthquakes that increase, as well as on the diseases. Saint Michael the Archangel warns us about the sickness that is coming and that we may not even be aware of. Brothers and sisters, let us think about our personal mission. It may be to pray and to make reparations for those who do not, and this is a great mission. It may be that your mission is to preach, and that is another great mission. Or it may be to be a witness of God's love for our brothers and sisters, and that is a great mission. From the back row, we all have great missions to fulfill. Let us ask our Blessed Mother to help us to continue to fulfill the Divine Will. Brothers and sisters, let us remain attentive to these elements that scourge the human being. Let us pray that St. Michael the Archangel and his heavenly legions help us at every moment. Amen.